It has taken me about a week to wrap my mind, pun intended, around my latest breast cancer news. After receiving five expert medical opinions, I decided to switch my oncologist. Hey, sometimes you just need a new coach, and I did. As part of that change, a brain scan was ordered, and I am sorry to say that cancer was found in my skull. Now, at this point, it looks like it's not in my actual brain matter, though they're going to be watching it very closely, and so my oncologist, my new oncologist now, is just treating this as an extension of the bone cancer that we know currently exists in my spine and my ribs. A PET scan also revealed cancer in my lymph nodes under my cancer arm, where yes, I also received radiation uh, under my sternum in my mammary and in my left lung pleura, that's the outside lining of my left lung. Last week, I posted a picture of myself in infusion room 18, I hope it's lucky 18, um, receiving what will be periodic uh, infusions to help strengthen my bones because right now I'm at high risk of bone, fra bone fractures. That is part of my new treatment plan. In addition, I am now on a very powerful hormone blocker. My cancer appears to be about 100% hormone driven. Man, it just eats those things up and despite everything, I still have some hormones in my body. So this is designed to help block those hormones. I'm also on a medication called a CDK4 inhibitor that's designed the, to slow the, the growth and the cell division of those nasty cancer cells. In addition, a full molecular and genetic workup has been ordered, hoping that that could lead us down a, down a path to some better or alternative treatments when the time comes when I need them, and I most surely will because metastatic breast cancer is not a curable disease. You just give yourself more time, and, and though I'm, I'm frightened and I'm scared and I'm nervous, I am hopeful that these medications will give me more time with my family. And then, um, well, I won't talk much about it now, but maybe the most challenging thing is up here, the mind game. It's hard. I can't tell you how much your support has meant to me and my family in the last few weeks. Truly, your kind words, your thoughts, your prayers are really helping us get through some very, very challenging times with more ahead. So for that, we thank you.